Hi, this is Mandy with Scott Leroy Marketing. I actually want to show you how you can work with your contact tags in your command database and how it will help you organize your contacts and actually help you add your contacts to command marketing like smart plans and email campaigns a little bit easier. So we'll go ahead and log in to command here. and go to our contacts tab over here on the top left. Now, please know if you are an agent on a team, then your ability to work with contact tags might be limited based on your team permissions. So if you are unable to do some of the things that I'm going to show you in this video, you may want to speak to your Rainmaker and check on your permission levels because that may have a factor. So from here, once you're looking at your contacts, Adding tags to your contacts will actually help you organize them. I'm going to spread out our column here so you can kind of see the tags for these contacts. If you can think of a description or an adjective for your contacts, like are they family, were they referrals, are they a past seller, future seller, current buyer, hot lead, anything like that, those would make great tags to add to your contacts to help you filter through and find them quickly in your database. So I'm going to show you actually how to add and remove tags from your contacts today. First, let me show you how you can add or remove tags to an individual contact. So I'm going to click on the contact. And once you're viewing the contacts profile, you can see their tags listed here. If you want to add or remove a tag to this specific individual contact, you can click the pencil and come to the tags field. If you want to remove one of the tags that are already applied to this contact, you can simply just click the X beside the tag and remove it. You can also put your cursor in this field and add any of the existing tags that you've already created by clicking the checkbox beside it or you can begin typing a particular tag that you know has not been created yet, possibly. So we'll just make one up here. And you can see that it does not come up in the drop down menu because that tag has not been created yet. So we can click create as new and this will actually create this tag right now. You can choose the name and choose the color you want it to be and then choose create tag. That just created that tag so that you can apply it to other contacts in your database in the future and also applied it to this particular contact. This is how you would add or remove tags just for this individual contact here. Once you're done working in this space, you can click save and see these tags added or removed for this contact. Now let me show you how you can do this in bulk so that you can do it to more than one contact at a time. I'm going to go back to our contacts. This would be a great time to use your filters to find the contacts that you want to add these tags to. So you can click on filters and use your filters here or even the advanced filters right here in order to find the contacts that you want to add tags to. Maybe just for an example, you want to find all of your leads so that you can tag them. You can click leads only and apply. Or if you're wanting to set them up on a particular, let's say, smart plan where you know that they need to have a primary email address on file, you can come down to primary email. And actually, that would work better for advanced filters. Let me show you this way. Advanced filters and you can choose for it to show you primary email address is not empty. So that way you know you will see the contacts that currently have a primary email address on file and that they are a lead so that you're ready to go ahead and add them to a particular smart plan if that's what you were planning on doing. That was just an example of some of the advanced filters and filters that you can use. We do have a tip video that goes into those in much more detail. So definitely encourage you to check that out. 
But once you've chosen the filters that you want, go ahead and click apply so that those filters will apply. I'm going to click away from that box because we already have our contacts here. But once you hit apply on your screen, then you should see your contacts here that you want to either add or remove a tag to. Make sure that you come here to show up to 500 contacts at a time here, just because this will allow you to perform a bulk action to the most contacts at a time. You can do it up to 500 contacts at a time. So you would do it for those 500 and then click the next page, do it for the next 500, next page, and so on, depending on the size of the database that you're working with. Now that you're viewing your contacts that you want to add or remove the tag to, you can select all, or you can remove some of the check marks or just check individual contacts that you want to add the tag to or remove it. Either way, notice that your bulk action menu actually has already populated here. And from this menu, you can choose to add tags. You can search from the list of all the available tags that have already been created. And when you see them, you can just click the box beside the ones that you want to add. Or you can search by typing in the name here at the top and see the tags that would apply to this. If you do not see the exact tag that you want, you always have a create tag option where you can create a new tag right here. So let's say I want demo tag six, it's not a tag just yet. We'll go ahead and click create tag, choose the name, choose the color, and click create tag. That not only creates the tag so that you can use it for other contacts in the future, but also applied it to this particular group of contacts that you're applying this tag to. Once you're done selecting as many or as few tags as you would like, go ahead and click Submit, and that will add those tags to these contacts. You should get a banner in the bottom right showing you that it's done, and you should see those tags here on the contacts. Now, for some reason, if it does not update in real time, you can always come to your browser and click the refresh button, and that should help you see those tags in real time be applied to those contacts. Removing tags in bulk to more than one contact at a time is the same essential steps. You would select all, and from your bulk action menu, you would scroll down to remove tags. This will show you all the tags that are currently applied to these particular contacts. So don't be alarmed if the list looks a little shorter. These are only the tags that are applied to the contacts that you have selected. It will show you the name of the tag and also how many contacts this tag is applied to. You can select which ones that you want to remove. You can do as few or as many as you want. Okay. That looks good. You can also search through the tags as well if you're looking for one in particular. Once you're done selecting the tags that you want to remove, you can go ahead and click Remove Selected. It should update the tags automatically, but again, click that refresh button if you need to. And that will have removed those tags from multiple contacts at one time. That's how you add and remove tags to individual contacts, to multiple contacts, and also your filter options. I do want to show you one other thing in your command settings where you can go and actually edit or delete tags created within um, your command. So right here, click on your name, settings. On the left-hand side, command settings, contacts, and contact tags. These will show all of the contact tags that you currently have created within your command. You can scroll through. We'll show up to 100 per page here. You also can use the search feature if you want to find a particular one, like let's look for the one that we just created. There it is. And notice we have a pencil or a trash can. So the pencil will allow us to adjust the name. 
and also change the color if we would like. And we can click Edit Tag and it will update that particular tag. Let me search for it again so you can see that the color is different now. There it is, and now it's green. Any contact that had that tag applied to it just got that updated tag. So it will always be green now, or not always, but now it will show green on your particular contacts that already have that tag. We can also come and click the delete button. That's the trash can and choose to delete this tag. However, if it is applied to any contacts currently, you will not be able to delete it. So we'll click OK, and you should see this particular error show up, letting you know that that tag is currently linked to a contact and cannot be deleted. You would need to go to your Command Contacts tab and use those same steps I just showed you on how to remove a tag from all the contacts then you would have an option to actually permanently delete that particular tag name. So we'll go ahead and choose cancel. And last but not least, I'll show you the system tags. Now the tags that I was just showing you that have the pencil and the trash can, those are the ones we've created within our command. There are system created tags. Let me see if I can get it toggled back and forth to show you here real quick. I'll show you our system tags. There they are. All right, and so these you can see were created by the system themselves. They're usually light blue with green lettering and the pencil and the trash can will be grayed out with these as they are not editable or you cannot delete them. So those are always in your command system. You do not have to use them, but they are there for your convenience if you would like to. And that's how to work with contact tags within your command database. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.